everybody and welcome to this video where I'm kind of announcing I guess even though I kind of did this before but not like in the video by itself naked lunch in January okay this is the book that we are reading and I'm reading this with Alan over at big heart books and classics um, we're gonna be reading this throughout the month and um, talking about it a little bit at a time and I wanted to do different oh my gosh I've had this book for so long my old business card from a bar I used to work at look at that that's fun that's what I like to do with books when I get a book I'll put a bookmark in it and a lot of times I use the receipt of the book especially if it's a receipt that I just bought that one book with so if I went to like Barnes and Noble and bought just this book and I had that receipt, I would use that receipt for um, the bookmark. Or when I start reading it, I'll find something that I think could be not necessarily timeless, but like something that will make me remember when I got this book or this edition of the book. So I've had this for a bit. We'll just say it like that. Um, let me see. Does it have what year this edition was put out? Ah, 2001. Yep, that checks out. That checks out. Okay, so we're going to be going through this. And then I also have um, another copy of this book that is an old copy that has the actual text from the um, Obscenity Trials in it. And I think I'm going to do another video that's just about that whole bit. And then I'll probably do a video, too, about the cut-up method, which is how William S. Burroughs wrote this book. Um, and I guess right now I'll talk a little bit about how I came across this book. So, and I've talked about this before, so if you've already seen this, just stay watching this video and deal with it. Hearing a story again for a third or seventh time. Um, I probably got the first copy of this at, um, Bionic Records, um, which was the record shop next to my high school, which is where, um, in fact, since all of this is right here, I could just show you this, where, um, I got like my, um, Henry Rollins books back in the day. This book was kind of a big deal to me because again, like Naked Lunch, I heard there was gonna be a movie coming out. I got all excited about like how, cause I heard that this was a banned book and all this other stuff. So my 14 year old like spidey sense of like wanting to like rebel against everyone and everything for any fucking reason you had, like went nuts. And so, I got this book and read it and was so blown away by what I was reading. And this is something that I've talked about before. And um, this is something that I think gets missed when a lot of people talk about books here on YouTube and stuff is that when parts of your innocence get stripped away by the words you read, if that makes any sense. When I was 14 years old and I read this book, I thought I was very worldly for a 14 year old. Okay. But I read certain passages out of this and felt like I was reading something that I was never meant to read and that no one should ever read in the history of forever. Kind of thing. There, there was just so much stuff that made this and probably I like this book a lot more than most people should because of that experience. Whereas if you read this as an older person who's lived life more, who's experienced certain things, a lot of the things in here aren't going to be as eye opening or as shocking or it'll just seem like everyday shit. But then you got to think too, like when this was written and who was reading this book at the time when this first came out and it will blow your fucking mind. And yes, this book was banned and an obscenity trial happened in the whole fucking thing. All of these things make this amazing. And then when um, the movie came out, maybe I'll do a movie review 
of it because I love the movie, even though the movie is not really about this book. It's more about, I would say, a fictionalized version of the character from this book, in quotes, writing this book as a report, as the character would inside this book. If that made any fucking sense to you, like, thank fucking God. But if you have not read the book or not seen the movie, I'm sure that fucking just like, woo, and made absolutely no sense. But I love the movie. It's not at all the book. So it's like two different things that are just as cool. Um, and I remember years ago, um, I, I reread this and went through this whole thing where then I read um, The Hippos Are Boiled in the Tanks, Queer, Junkie, Blade Runner, Exterminator. I, I read a bunch of Burroughs stuff and tried to put pieces together. I don't remember if I got Inner Zone or not. But um, a lot of these things are all about the same thing. And a lot of characters come back. And um, like about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, um, I did videos on uh, the Nova Trilogy. Like um, the Soft Machine, the Ticket That Exploded, and the Nova Express. Because those as well have a lot of um, reoccurring characters. So um, that's a lot of fun. But yeah, so um, I'm going to be reading this. So if you have never read Naked Lunch and you wanted to read it and you want to talk about it, just let me know down below and we'll figure out how we'll do it. If we'll do a Voxer thing or if we'll do um, just leaving in the comments and chat about it. Maybe me and Alan will do a video together talking about it. Um, I don't know. But yeah. So, Naked Lunch, William S. Burroughs, The Restored Text um, of a book that's been edited and re-edited and re-edited and re-edited a million fucking times by the author, by the publisher, by everybody. Um, it's such a shit show train wreck, honestly, when you think about it like that. But anyway, so that's that. Um, keep buying my books, type hard, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.